Okay, okay, this is an easy problem, according to Leach code. A classic problem, pretty much. So, uh, the list of companies that recently asked it, this question will be in the description, as well as the, the a link to the GitHub repository for it. I'm re-recording the video because the last one I did, OBS glitched. It was just, it just, it was just stuck on the frame. So, yeah, here we are. Binary search. We have an array of integers called nums, sorted in ascending order and an integer value target. If target exists in the array, return its index. If target does not exist, return negative one. So here we're looking for six in this array, it does exist. So it's at, and it's at position three. So from zero, one, two, three, that's why we return three. Two, two, three exists, it's at position one, return one. Two does not exist, so return negative one. That's all there is to this problem. And this is what the solution looks like. We have this sample array, for example, we're looking for 63. Uh, we start from zero. The zero is the start index, it is the last index. And we're looking for 63. So this met this problem is solved. And so this is what it looks like. We're looking for 63. We can see it exists here. So we need to return five at the end of the day. And this method always has three pointers. So the, the low, the middle, and the high. And that's what we're gonna initialize here. So low starts at the beginning of the array, high is, goes to the end of the array, and mid is the difference between low and high and low plus low. So that's what lines you in mid. And we're looking for 63 because 63 is bigger than what's in the middle. We are gonna move low to the position after the middle and then recalculate middle. Yeah. And then, so now we've gotten rid of this whole problem space here. Uh, instead of if we had had to start looking entry by entry to find 63, we've cut the work in half, like what we have to look through in half, just in one step. That's the advantage of this method. And we check again. So mid is 75, which is bigger than 63. So we're going to move high to one before mid, as you can see, and recalculate mid, which is going to land where it is. And there really is nowhere else to go. And so we check, oh, mid is now a target. We did it. We found it. That's all there is to it. And this is what all of that looks like in code. So we have low, we have high. So while low is less than or equal to high, we're finding the middle using the math of floor division. So low plus math of floor, high negative low divided by two. That's how you get mid. That's how we wound up here in the beginning. Uh, next, the target value is present at the center. So if we find, if the target is at mid, what would the value at mid? Just return it, return mid, because we're looking for the index. Otherwise, it's in the lower subarray, so it's less than what's at mid. So just reset high to the mid minus one. In this case, it's greater than what's at mid. So set low to what's after mid, right after mid. And then if we loop through this entire thing and see nothing, then return negative one. And that's all there is to this problem. Let's look at the bigger notation real quick. Log of n. n is the number of elements in the array. Super, super quick. And the space complexity is O of 1. That's all. See you next time.